Hi everyone, welcome to your very first lecture for Psych 1105 for this year. Um, this is your week one stats lecture and the first part of your week one stats lecture. So week one, part one. Um, welcome, my name is Dr. Alyssa Beeth and I'm your stats lecturer for this unit. So I will be talking you through every week about the amazing world of psych stats. Um, some of you might know me from Psych 1104, if you did that unit before, um, I gave a couple of lectures on that. Um, and I'm very excited to be talking to you about stats um, and about the, all the important things about why you need to think about stats when you're doing psychology. So what this lecture is about today is mostly just starting with some admin things. So talking you through the important things that you need to know at the very start of the session. So the weekly schedule, what we're going to be covering in this part of the unit, the readings that you need to know for this part of the unit for the stats content, um, and also the specific tool, the software that you're going to need in order to do the stats that you'll be doing throughout this unit. Um, so hopefully once you listen to the rest of this lecture, you get an idea of all the important bits and pieces that you need in order to get you through the unit. And then the next part of the lecture, we'll be talking about why we are bothering to spend so much of our time talking about stats. And this is a really important part of the unit because some of you might be coming in feeling a little bit apprehensive about having to do stats. Some of you might be thinking that you chose psychology because you don't want to do maths, because you don't want to do science, because you think that it might be something different to that. And so hopefully by the end of this lecture, I will have convinced you of why it's really, really important, even if you want to do psychology, even if you want to practice as a psychologist, even if you're doing linguistics or speech and hearing or education or something completely unrelated to psych, and you just pick this unit um, as an elective or because you thought it might be something that would just be interesting to do that's totally different to the degree that you're doing. Hopefully, I will have convinced you that you'll get a benefit from learning the stats portion of this unit. And the reason for that is because thinking about statistics is going to help you be critical thinkers and to evaluate information that you're being presented with in the world. So the reason that stats is really important for psychology is because psychology is a science. In psychology, the discipline of psychology, we practice the scientific method, which means that we think critically and very systematically about information about human behavior. It's the scientific study of human behavior. Um, and the reason that we need stats and research in general for psychology is because in order to know anything about human behavior, we need scientific method. And the scientific method is the thing that helps us to have a framework for understanding new information and for evaluating information to get us an idea of whether something is true or not true about human behavior. So psychology is the study of human beings, but in order to know how people think and how people act and why they do the things that they do, we need systematic methods in order to evaluate if a piece of information is true or not, or to know if there is a new scientific finding or not. So hopefully I will have convinced you of that by the end of today, not just about why stats is important for psychology, but why it's going to be beneficial for you to do, even if you have no interest in pursuing psychology beyond just this one unit. Okay, we're going to start off with talking about our weekly schedule. So every week in this unit, you have some stats content to do. And the specific details of that content are firstly the lecture. So the lecture is a recorded lecture available to you on iLearn. This is the very first part of that, the very first part of the very first week of your recorded SATS lectures. So they're all available on iLearn. They'll be released on a week by week basis as the weekly sections are available to you on iLearn. And each of those weeks, you've got me talking about a different topic, a different aspect of stats, a different portion of the stats uh, world that you're going to be introduced to this particular session. You also have a textbook reading, and I'll talk to you a little bit um, in a bit of time about the textbook and whether the textbook is worth your time and money to invest in. So every week you'll have a textbook reading um, that will correspond to the lectures. And the textbook is there to supplement and to extend the lectures. So the textbook goes beyond what we can cover in the lectures. The lectures are about an hour every week for 13 weeks. And there's only so much that we can cram into that amount of time. Um, so the textbook is really there to supplement and to extend what it is that we're talking about in the lectures. 
Um, and because that is the case, the textbook is differentially important to you depending on how much psychology you're going to be doing throughout your degree. So if you're taking this unit as an elective, if you're not doing a psych degree, but you're just taking Psych 1105 as an elective in some other degree you're doing, then the textbook is less crucial for you. It's still definitely recommended. So for all the students that are listening to this, the textbook and those who might not be listening to this, the textbook is still important. So for all students, the textbook is highly, highly recommended but it is less essential for you. You can still pass this unit without getting access to the textbook if you're not a psych student. So if you're not a psych student and you're not gonna be doing any more stats beyond this one unit, then it's less necessary for you. It's less essential for you. Still recommended and definitely recommended if there's certain parts of the content that you're struggling a little bit with. If there's stuff that you find a little bit confusing, you don't quite follow, the textbook is one of the first things I would recommend to go beyond the lecture to get something explained a different way but the textbook is less necessary less essential if you're not doing a psych degree however if you are doing a psych degree if you're going to go on to do second year design and statistics and even third year design and statistics if you're going on to do honors in psychology then the textbook is highly 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 recommended and the reason for that is because for those of you who are going on to do second and even third year stats, what you learn in this unit is the foundation for that. So what you learn in this particular unit, the basic stats, the intro stats, forms the foundation, forms the basis for what it is you're going to learn in second year and then in third year. And because of that, it is more important for you guys to know more of the details, more of the nuance and more of the content beyond what I can actually talk about in my one hour per week for 13 weeks. Um, it's more important for you to know that content. And it's also more important for you to actually get hands on experience and familiarize yourself with the stats software, which is called Stata. So for those of you who are doing a psych degree, this is the stats software that you'll use in second year and also in third year. So the more you practice now, the more you engage with it now, and the more that you get your hands dirty into it this year, the better you're going to find yourself in a position for next year and the year after. So the textbook is particularly important if you're a psych student, if you're going to go on to do second year and even third year and you're thinking about honours in psychology. The third element that you have to cover each week is a quiz. And these quizzes form part of your assessment for this unit, for Psych 1105. The quizzes start in week two and they go every week into week 13, so that's 12 weeks in total. The quiz is on the same topic as what that week's lecture is. So the week two quiz is on the week two topic. The week three quiz is on the week three topic. So they're not delayed a week, they're on the same topic that that week's lecture is on. And they will form, your performance on those quizzes will perform 10% of your final mark for this particular unit. And will take the best 10 out of your 12 quizzes. So the lowest two marks will be dropped. So hopefully that'll allay some of your anxiety about doing them. The lowest two marks will be dropped. We'll take your best 10 of the, 10, of the 12 quizzes. Each quiz will make 1% to make a total of 10% for your assessment for this particular unit. Um, they're quizzes that you complete on iLearn, they're pretty short quizzes, they're relatively straightforward, they're testing both your knowledge of the content and also your application of the content that's been um, taught in that particular week. Okay, the next slide is talking about the lecture schedule for each week. So here we are in week one now. We've got a couple of weeks of intro um, to talk about, you know, the most basic things that we need to understand about statistics, about why you need to learn it, and also some basic concepts that we'll be talking about next week. Week three is your first kind of detailed introduction to the software, which is called Stata. And this is your stats software, the statistical software that you'll use to process data, to manipulate data, and to do statistical testing. So that's the exciting thing coming in week three. And then from weeks four and five, we have a bit of basic um, summarizing data and some fundamental content concepts. And then in week six, we get into the actual statistical testing. So there is a number of different statistical tests that you'll learn over the course of this session, um, starting in week six with t-tests for a couple of weeks. And then we have the mid-session break and we take stock in week eight, do a little bit, little bit of mid-semester revision. And then in week 9 and 10, we do a couple of other statistical tests and then finishing with some 
examples and some other things we'll do from 11 and 12 and then a summary in week 13. So every week is a new topic. Um, every week we'll talk about both the theory of stats and also the application of the certain tests that you'll be learning. And hopefully you'll find throughout all of these lectures that they're really grounded and really focused in psychology. So this stats content of this unit is not pure statistics. It's you're not, you're not taking it like you would if you were actually taking a stats unit or a maths unit. This unit is an application of stats to psychology and human sciences and social sciences and the art kinds of other related disciplines. So what we're learning, what you guys are learning in this particular unit is statistics as applied to psychology and human sciences more generally, which means that the most important thing for you to understand is why you might need to know a certain statistical test what that statistical test can achieve in terms of its psychology research question, in terms of the research questions that we have in psychology about human behavior, about understanding human beings, and then how to interpret the findings of those results, of the conclusions that you might get from that statistical test, how to interpret those for psychology, for a psychology context. So it's super, super applied. It's not pure stats. It's not pure maths. You do need to have a little bit of understanding of some mathematical concepts and some statistical concepts that you'll get introduced to or reminded about throughout the course of this um, chunk of the unit, but it's very, very applied. It's always being brought back to the relevance of it to psychology, the relevance of it to human behavior and to questions that we have about human behavior. This next thing is a screenshot of what our statistical software looks like. This is an example of Stata. So Stata is the program, the computer program that you will be using throughout this unit. Um, as I mentioned before, if you're going on to do second year design and statistics, which is like 2248, then you will get more experience using this program and have to use it in even more detail. And if you're going on to third year design and stats, you will use it again. If you're going on to fourth year design and stats, you will use it again. So particularly for you psych students out there, it's really important that you get your hands dirty and you get used to playing around with this particular program. Even for those of you who aren't doing a psych degree, um, the, the reason that it's important to understand how to use this software, this program, is because this is the thing that we use in order to run the statistical tests that we need to run to answer the questions that we want to answer. So it's a tool just like anything else. It's a computer program just like anything else. You really need to get your hands into it to actually understand it properly, to skill yourself in doing it. And so the more practice that you have, the better you'll find it, the easier you'll find it, and the more competent you will be. And your skills and knowledge of this program are accessible in this unit. So it's really important that you get yourself experience in using it yourself. So how do you do that, you might ask. You've got two options available to you in terms of accessing this program. The better and most popular option is to access it for free through Macquarie University. So Macquarie has this thing called AppStream, and AppStream is a virtual um, computer laboratory where you can log on to the web and you can access a whole lot of different software, computer software that Macquarie has licensed to through the magic of the internet. What that means is that you don't get a personal copy of it yourself, but you access the software through the internet, through a web browser. So if you look, click on that uh, website, you'll get some information about AppStream. In our week three lecture, I'll walk you through actually um, downloading, or not downloading, but actually accessing um, the thing through the web and how to access and get going with Stata. So you'll get some more detailed part of that in your week three lecture. But in the meantime, you can click on this website and you can have a read through it and play around with it yourself before we get to week three. So that's the first option to you. That is the recommended option because it is free and doesn't cost you anything. Um, you just need internet access in order to use AppStream, but you don't need anything else other than a web browser for your computer. If you have the option available to you and you would prefer it, you can also buy your own software license to, to Stata. So the cheapest one I think is about $79 for a six month license. So if you want to do that, if you want to have a copy yourself and you want to use it on your own computer um, and not need to bother with AppStream, then you are very welcome to do that. That is the website available to you there, but you do not need to do that. You can access it for free with your Macquarie Student One ID. Um, as long as you've got internet access, you can access it for free on AppStream. 
If you're an on-campus student, you can borrow a laptop from the library um, in order to access Stata via AppStream on that laptop. So that's a website available to you there. You can have a look at the library's borrowing facilities if you wanted to do that. And as I mentioned before, this is a really important part of the unit. It's the part um, that involves actually running statistical tests yourself, making graphs, making tables, producing something, pretending like you're a computer programmer. Um, you do need to do it yourself. You will be assessed on it in the unit, so it's really important. And because we've got a 13 week session here, the earlier you get onto this, the easier you will find it because the more time you'll give yourself to play around with it and to get used to it. Um, some of your tutorials for this unit will actually be Stata Stats Tutes. Um, they're after the mid-session break. So you'll get some time in tutorials then to play around with it yourself and talk to your tutor and talk to the other students about it. But don't wait till then. Get on it as soon as you can in order to give yourself the most amount of time to play around with it. And what you'll find is with with each of the week's lectures, um, you'll actually get example data sets, you'll get to, to play around with it to try and produce the same stuff that I'm producing through the lecture slides um, so that you can see what it is that I've done and produce the same stuff that I've produced 